Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to Transform with Tina. This is my take on a get ready with me. And today I'm going to show you how to transform from this mess to this. So tonight I'm heading out to the city in Sydney for a light show called Vivid. They have Vivid on every year. They pretty much like deck out the whole city with really cool light shows. So I'm taking my mum and Alfred's parents. So I need to put some makeup on. I'm gonna start off with my base. I'm using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. Just gonna pop a little everywhere. Oh, I got it on my nose. Then I'm going to use my Hourglass Vanish Stick in Warm Ivory. Just gonna draw lines of these everywhere. In my last Transform with Tina video, I also used this foundation and the Mecca and Hourglass team noticed and they asked me, hey, do you wanna do a giveaway for the Vanish Stick set? And I was like, hell yeah. So I'll be giving five of the sets away and you know how expensive Hourglass is because the products are just so amazing. So at the end of this video, I'll be giving five of the sets away. In the set is the Hourglass Vanish Stick. You also get the foundation brush and the Veil Mineral Primer that I used before. So make sure you stay until the end to watch and how you can win one of those sets. Also, I love the fact that the brands actually watch my videos and notice that I'm doing giveaways and they want to support that. So it's always good to have them reach out and offer me more products to give away because that means you guys can have more products. Next, I'm going to apply concealer under my eyes. I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Custard. For these, I just like to use my fingers to apply it because I feel like it just melts into my skin with the warmth of my finger after. So I just like to use my finger. This concealer is fairly new and I actually really like it because it just melts into your skin really nicely and just blends out and it's gone, it's magic. So now I'm gonna set my base quickly. I've run out of my Laura Mercer translucent powder. Or I have like a tiny bit left. So I've been using this guy. This is the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. And I'm just using my Zoeva 126. It's a cheek brush, but I'm just gonna use it for powder because I actually kinda like using smaller brushes to apply my powder. Next, I'm gonna fill in my brows. I'll be using the Chisunga 22 Light Brown Dong Gong Min Brow Maker. I've been using this like every day since I discovered it on my Tina Tries It series. This is like the best. So I just apply the product on with the brush first, like the brow or mascara part. And then with the sponge part, I just use it to fill in the sparse areas after. Can you notice I have tape on this eye? Just like a piece of double eyelid tape there. Well, this morning I woke up and my eye was just like, one was much smaller than the other. Like the crease here was just all like funny. I don't know why, but sometimes it happens to me. So if that happens, I just like use like a piece of double eyelid tape. I just cut it shorter and I just stick it so it kind of stays like that. And I just wear it like that for the whole day. And then after I take it off, it usually stays and goes back to like normal. All right, I'm gonna take this eyelid sticker off and pray that my eyelid is even. Oh yeah, it stayed. So that's a good trick. Maybe you can use that if you wake up with uneven eyelids. I'm just gonna go back to that NARS concealer and apply it onto my lid as a base. And then just blend it out with a brush. For eyeshadows, I'll be using my NYX Beauty On The Go palette. So I'll be using this orange color here. I'm just gonna apply that all over my lid. So my mum's over at the moment and I can hear her wash my dishes. You know, like just every time she comes over, she just starts cleaning for some reason. I love her so much, but yeah, sometimes she just like won't stop cleaning. I'm like, mom, I can do my dishes. She's like, no, I'll do it, I'll do it. You can go film. Gosh, she's so sweet. <laughs> so I just blend that color upwards. Then I'm going to apply a bit of purple on the outer corner. I'm just gonna run that on the outer corner. Anyways, what's been happening with you guys? Hmm? Anything cool happening? Um, with me, I'm going to Korea soon, like in a few days, and I'm, go I'm going for two weeks. So I just have a couple of meetings over there, plus I have like a friend's hens and um, 
just some sightseeing to do. So it'll be kind of fun because I've never actually gone to Korea. So I'm pretty excited actually. I can't wait to go see all like the beauty and cosmetic stuff. Okay, now I'm gonna run some of that orange color before underneath. Then comes eyeliner. So I'm just going to wing it out a little bit, not too crazy. And then just line really close to my lash line. I just noticed I keep holding my breath. Every time I like apply liner, I have this thing where I just hold my breath. Do you do that? I feel like it gives me more precision. Maybe I should add some purple at the bottom. I feel like I need a, a bit of purple there. I'm going to apply lashes and these are one of my own styles from Petite Cosmetics. This one is called Conquer. You guys actually helped me name this in my last video. I was like, I need some names and you thought of really good names, I must admit. I'm just gonna pop these on. Now, they will be out soon, guys, because I'm going to Korea, it's kind of delayed it a little bit and I'm still working on the website and just waiting for the final touches of the packaging to be done. And then, as soon as they're ready, I will let you know. So this style is one of the fuller styles. It's actually two pairs of lashes stacked on top of each other to create this style. And it's great if you want something a bit more dramatic for like a nighttime look, this is perfect for that. For mascara, I'll be using my favorite, the Brow Lash X Mascara. This is a Japanese one. I just really like it for my lower lashes. It just makes them so long and defined. Like bam, see, it's so long already. Also, I just like to put a little bit of mascara onto my natural lash. And then to blend my natural lash with the fake lashes, I just like to use my mini curler and just press them so they kind of stick to each other. Sometimes after I put lashes on, I like to just like go in and just maybe sometimes bring the color up because when you have lashes on, I feel like it covers some of the colors so you can kind of bring it up a little bit. So that's my eye makeup done. I feel like I should take my hair up before it like kinks. Oh, look how bad the regrowth is. Ugh. Moving on to blush, I'm just using my finger pen from 16 brand. And I'm just gonna dot, oh, I need to press it first. And I'm just gonna dot some of that color and blend it out. I love the smell of these. It smells like, like a strawberry sherbet or something. I'm actually so excited for Korea now that I think about it. I can't wait to go find all the new products, all the makeup, all the kind of quirky things because they have just, they just have crazy stuff there. So I'm super excited and I'm also going to get like a Korean makeover. So, you know, maybe get my hair done or get my makeup done by a Korean makeup artist to see some of the tips and tricks. So I'll film that for you. And whilst I have this, I'm just gonna apply it onto my lips as well and use it as a lip color. For highlight, I'll be using my MAC Mineralized Show Gold. And I'm just going to apply it on top of that. This has a bit of pink in it, so that's why I love using it on my cheeks. And finally, I'm gonna contour. I'll be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. Look how beat up it is. It's just like, it's seen better days, definitely, but I still love it. You know, I pick this up all the time and I still use it, even though it's, I mean, it's quite old now. And I'm using my Ray Morris Flawless Shader Brush. You've, you've seen this before, I love using this. I remember saving up to buy Ray Morris's brush. It was really expensive, it was like $1,000 for a whole kit. Um, so I remember I was just like saving up, saving up, and in my mind I was like, well, I take makeup clients, and I mean, I do weddings and brides night to see, you know, and feel like nice brushes on their faces. So I saved up $1,000 to go buy her kit. And I mean, it's worth it, but it's not for everyone. And actually I saw that she was coming out with like new brushes and I was like, uh oh, am I gonna like empty my bank account buying these again? But yeah, nah, I think I've got enough brushes to last me a while. So I like to use this brush to contour my nose as well. It's actually really handy. Finally, to finish off my look, I'm gonna spray my face with a setting spray. This one is from Cover FX. It's got like illuminating particles in it, so. It makes my skin look nice and dewy. Plus, I actually really like the spray to this. It's like a fine mist. It's not like one of those ones that you just spray and it just goes everywhere. This one actually feels like a mist. Here's a quick before and after shot so you guys can see the transformation. 
Now that you've put up with my rambling and you're watching to the end of this video, I'm going to tell you about the giveaway. I'll be giving five sets of the Vanish Stick Foundation from Hourglass away. And this is all thanks to Mecca and Hourglass. They watched my videos and noticed that I wanted to do more giveaways, so they're totally on board with this. And all you have to do is head over to my vlog channel and subscribe to that channel and watch my latest trailer video. I finally filmed a trailer for it and actually I'm guilty because I haven't even filmed a trailer for my main channel yet, so. That will be done one day. Anyway, so watch that trailer. Let me know what you think about it. Comment your name, country, where you're from, and also let me know what foundation color you are because we need to know your color to send it out. Also, why not throw some emojis in because everyone loves emojis. And that's pretty much it. I'll leave more details about the giveaway below, so check it out. And thank you guys for watching this transformation. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Stay tuned for my transformation in Korea and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.